Hello, we're at Power to Max. We want to tell you a little bit about crank spiders today and give you the information you need so you can start training with power. All right, let's talk about chain ring spiders. First off, let's talk about what a chain ring spider actually is. Uh, the spider is the part of your crank set that exists between the chain rings and the cranks. So in the case of the Rotor 3D crank set, this is your standard chain ring spider. Uh, now, obviously, we make a power meter spider to replace that so you can train with dual sided power. All right, now that we've talked about what the crank spider is, let's go over the differences between them a little bit. The most important difference for making the switch to training with power is whether you have a removable spider or a non-removable spider. There's a few easy ways to find out if you have a removable spider. Now some cranks are pretty easy to tell if they've got a removable spider or not. Take for example the Shimano crank. Uh, you can see from the front, from the crank arm through to the spider, it's one piece. It's inseparable. It's not coming apart. So for some systems, you're going to want to flip it over to find out if you've got a removable spider. Take this Rotor 3D for example. From the front, it's a little difficult to tell if you have a removable spider. If you flip it over, you're going to find a lock ring. This lock ring is what holds the spider to the crank arms itself. It's not unlike you'd find on a Cannondale or Specialized crank. Some systems, like SRAM or Praxis, use a series of screws to hold the chain ring spider to the crank arms. Both these systems, whether it's a lock ring or screws, are removable spiders. There's a good chance we have a power meter for you. Now that said, not all cranks have removable spiders. That's why you want to look for that lock ring or the series of bolts to find out if you actually have a removable spider. There's one more bit of information you need before making the switch between spiders, and that's your BCD. So you've probably heard before the terms compact, standard, 110, 130. They're all referring to the same idea. So BCD literally means bolt circle diameter. Uh, so that means if you were to draw a circle through the bolts on your crank set, you'd have your BCD. Now that said, there's a bunch of terms around BCD. Compact and standard, 110 and 130. These two are interchangeable. 110 is the compact sizing. What that means is that you'll be able to fit smaller chain rings on your crank set. Where if you take a standard size crank, the smallest chain ring you can fit on 130 bolt circle diameter is a 39 tooth inner ring. So what that means is if you want the smaller compact size chain rings, you will not be able to fit it on 130 BCD. So with Shimano's four bolt system, their chain rings will fit their four bolt pattern whether they're compact or standard size chain rings. This is actually a great advantage because you can have the same crank set with different chain rings outfitted for different types of terrain. The great thing about the NG or the NG Eco is that we do make a few spiders in the four bolt pattern. So if that's something you're interested in, you might want to check out our other video about switching from Shimano over to the Rotor 3D. So that should be everything you need to know about chain ring spiders when you're looking to make the switch to start training with power. 